everybody, we're back for a quick video. I have a longer video that I'm in the process of finishing filming and editing that's gonna be a two-part video, which uh, will most likely come out next week. Um, but in working on that prep for that video, I came across something in my system that I, I'm not sure I liked. Um, and it had a lot to do with size. As everyone knows, you know, passport and standard size traveler's notebook are my go-to size. They're what I started all of my planning in, and <laughs> I'll try a various number of sizes, and I always end up coming back to them. So I started, um, towards the end of last year, working in a... A5 bullet journal, um, in a Michaels one actually. And then I got this beautiful Midori um, MD paper bullet journal. That's Mindy Lacefield that I colored. I will link her Patreon down below. That's where that came from. Um, so, and you've seen the setup of this. And why I love everything about this um, some of the prep and work that I was doing on a video that will be coming soon, um, like I did take some notes in here, but a lot of the prep was done, like, you know, in between students at the university, or say it was a Saturday and we went to a coffee shop. I didn't carry this because it's quite large. It's an A5 and it's a beautiful cover. And, you know, I started, you know, putting like my samples of my art supplies in here. And, and I love it for that. Um, this is MD paper as well. I just wanted to, you know, see what all my watercolors and stuff. Don't you love that sound? I love that sound, and I love the MD paper. Um, but this size of a notebook for me, um, when I have to carry a flute, a piccolo, especially this week we're doing Harry Potter, I have to carry a flute, a piccolo, an alto flute, a penny whistle, um, some music for teaching, some music for myself, my personal calendar, um, throwing this in the backpack was just a bit much. Also, I keep my traveler's notebook in this pouch, which I did an unboxing, oh, year and a half ago, maybe? Um, year ago? I don't know, a while ago. Um, I keep it in here with some stickers and I put some pens and stuff in here and, you know, uh, it just started to be a bit too much, weighing down my backpack. So what I did was I have this traveler's notebook with me 90% of the time. I moved into this and you saw a video a week or two ago, a week ago. I don't know. Um, I was previously in my standard brown, but I wanted to use my train station one when Mitz sent me this sweet little charm for the Tokyo station. And an old, an old me would have been upset that it got bumped and some of the gold was rubbing off. But I've decided I'm going to use the things I have. I love this notebook. I bought it. I put the insert that it came with in it and then set it on the shelf. And I'm going to use it. Um, so when you've seen, if you've seen my last video, I'll do a quick review. I have a Farouf. Traveler's Factory's pouch in here. I have my monthly calendar in here, which hasn't changed, except for maybe some stickers. Um, so I have my monthly calendar. Here we are this week. I have my weekly calendar. Um, then I have some stencils, I have a Tomoe River paper, grid insert, the little folder in a writing board, 
And then I have a um, uh, grid with a week for keeping track of my students. So that's what I have in there. But, you know, carrying this or carrying this, or I started to write notes in here, but then I'd have to transfer them to here. And that just started to become too much double work. So what I decided to do, since I always end up back in a standard size traveler's notebook, what I decided to do was to set up a traveler's notebook as a um, YouTube traveler's notebook. So I printed another one of my paper and cats, my version with the two pages of grid, the month, two pages of grid, the month. So I'd have a monthly tracker where I could track videos that I have going up, video ideas, and then so I can also track that. I haven't decided how else I'm going to use the calendar. Like I might mark, you know, like filming or something like, I haven't done it through the rest because I haven't gone through my other calendar, but like, you know, film, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how I choose to use that. but. This is another Paper and Cats digital insert. What it is, is it is a, just, she calls it a dot grid notebook. And I just use a stencil to write YouTube 2020. And this is the first one. And it has, which I like, it has an item index page. But then I started taking notes and trying some of the stuff for the upcoming video. And, um, which, well, which I think will become two. Um, yeah, so it was so much easier for me just to pop this out, stick it in the back, <laughs> and then when I come home, you know, or if I know I won't need it for a day or two, because, you know, I, if I know I've got like a lot of rehearsals and stuff, then, you know, it will stay home. Um, but I decided to do that, and then I put, I made a second dot grid insert. And one reason why I like, I'll show you close, paperandcats.com, which takes you to her Etsy store. What I love about this insert is it has a clean look. It actually has an index, and then you'll see the bottom of each page is numbered. So when we get to the very end, there's a total of 59, whoop, there it is, 60 pages. And I think it's a wonderful insert. She also does that with a grid insert as well, um, but I like, I, I especially like the dot grid for doing this type of stuff, so you can properly measure if you want to, to do that. So I know it's just a, a short video, it's just because the other video is a little bit longer and a little bit um, more to edit, and I think I'm going to have to divide it into two videos because I don't want you to have to sit around for 35 or 40 minutes watching one video. Um, and it, it might make sense to have it broken apart into two. But these are cute little stickers from Mindy Lacefield. You've probably... Here's one of her business cards. There is all of her information. Her webpage where she does online classes, her Etsy store, her Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. Um, I'm loving her style of art. It's helping me get out of my head and not be so perfect with everything. I tend to overthink things, as if you haven't noticed. Um, so, yeah, so that is what I decided to do. And I just put it in my original Midori that I bought 
back in 2014. Uh, 13? 14? I don't know. A while ago. Um, oh, so while we're here, someone asked the difference about the Faroof and the Mo term. Let me take this out. Since we're here and we've got a little bit of time, um, okay. So all of the ones made by Midori and the Traveler's Company will have on the flap side, it'll say, it'll have this little double F symbol. It'll say four and then four backwards, R-U-O-F, Faroof, I don't know, it's, it's a palindrome, F-O-U-R, F-O-U-R. Um, and it has a pocket here where I've got some more Mindy Lacefield stickers. Um, it has three card slots, and then it has a zipper pouch. The Mo term, if you look, Kitty's playing with the puppy's toys. You'll notice it's the exact same height. Maybe I should move this so you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, maybe. It's the exact same height. It has the flap. You'll see it's cotton and it's a starched cotton. They're both 100% cotton. They're both starched. So this one I've had since, oh goodness gracious, since the traveling caravan was in Amsterdam at the miscellaneous store. Um, so this one I have been using continuously since 2015, 2016. Can't remember exactly when that was. Um, this one I got last fall, so you can see it's a little bit stiffer than this. But it has the three card slots. This is the one thing where the Mo term is a little bit different. The um, Midori, they're all the same size. You can see here they're slightly not. Oop. Do I got a sticker in there? Nope, I got washi tape in there. <laughs> I didn't know I had washi tape in there. Um, oh, and that's that book washi tape. I love that. Um, see? And then they both have a zipper. The um, Midori one is has a label of YKK. And sometimes the um, ones from Moterm have a fancier zipper. This is one of the first ones, um, but it's a very close, close uh, resemblance. And they both work fine, like zipper. They're both both nice. Um, the thing is, these are very hard to get here in the United States, the Faroof ones. Um, they're very hard to purchase unless you purchase from a European online seller because you can't get them, you can't get anything shipped from Midori to the United States uh, from their webpage. They only ship uh, inside of the, the country of Japan. So I was able to get this when they were at the um, miscellaneous store in Amsterdam. Um, I purchased my camel notebooks when they came out with them from them. I purchased um, one of the Pan Am blue ones from them. Um, you know, and so they're a wonderful store, and so I got it from them when they had them. But they tend to be a little on the pricey side. Like one of these is, I think, $40, the Midori branded one, and this one, but the Mo term ones, you can get on Amazon for $10, $12, and they also make them in the passport size, and they also make them in the personal traveler's notebook size, which um, is something unique that they don't do in um, with Midori, because Midori only has the two sizes. So I just thought I'd share that really really quick and you know they're they're both nice i i would love to buy all original midori ones but you know at 40 dollars 
you know, I just, I mean, that's the same price as a traveler's notebook. If you buy it, you know, through like Van Kuchen or Goulet or Jet Pens or Amazon. So that's why I went with the Moterm ones. Not that I don't love Traveler's Company. Everybody knows that I do. But So there we are. Just a quick little video to show you how I transitioned from this beautiful notebook into something a little bit more portable that might fit my needs a little bit better. This is going to go on the shelf until a time when I feel that I need it and it's right for me. Um, but there you go. Thanks so much for watching and um, if you have any questions leave a comment down below and give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. I do lots of planner videos um, mainly about traveler's notebooks but I have gone into rings in the past and bullet journals and some art and lots of different things. We'd love to have you here on the channel and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.